Real Gospel with Real Harmony and Real Grooves right here at FM HD Mass and now streaming HD1. Good morning, everybody. I'm Simone Malone, one of your most trusted and respected voices on radio every day. And, of course, for those of you that check me out on Facebook and my YouTube channel called Trusted Voice and Radio, I really appreciate you so much for being my friend. What I ask you to do is continue to share the inspirational moments that I share with you on a daily basis because it's an inspiration and encouragement to me and I know that it will be a blessing to you. Well, I want to talk about shine anyway. A lot of us, and it's a personal thing, we're dealing with so much in our lives. We know that for those of us that drive and had automobiles, the gas prices are absolutely ridiculous. And of course, um, the economy is still struggling. There are some people that are able to get some jobs and some aren't. But we want to continue to keep the faith and pray that God will bless us and shine in our lives anyway. So when you get a chance, I want you to read Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1 through 10 during your daily devotion. Folks, if you are a born-again believer like me, and you know that Christ lives inside of you despite your circumstances, despite your weaknesses, you have to read his word. Just like some of you open up that special book you like to read before you go to bed or during your day, you know, before you cuddle up, you like to read that book and have that warm cup of tea. Mm-hmm. You got to read God's word. It has to get into your system. You have to saturate the word of God into your heart and in your mind. So when you get a chance, you want to read Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1 through 10. But I just want to focus on Ephesians number 5, verse 8, that says, You are the light in the Lord. You are the light in the Lord. Walk as children of the light. A lot of us as Christians and believers, even the non-believers, we know they're not walking in the light because they don't know who God is. It's important as a believer that you walk in the light and that you share the gospel of Jesus Christ wherever you go. On, in part to that, I want to talk about healthy functioning. You know, uh, many of you know that I'm very personable. I share with you things deep down in the bottom of my heart because I live these experiences. I also work as a professional in mental health and I see so many people that are just sick. They're sick mentally and they're sick physically. And the Bible says thou shall keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him. So why are so many people sick if their minds are not stayed on the Lord? If we think on these things, on these positive things, our mind would not think in so much negativity. But I just want to talk a little bit about, and I'll pick back up with this in another week, about your healthy functioning. Some of you need to know that you need to have healthy functioning all the time. And I share these things with you because through my experiences, God has strengthened me and kept me um, in my recovery process from whatever it is. We all are dealing with some type of recovery, whether it's from a bad relationship, a sickness, uh, you know, unemployment. And I can go down the list and you know and God knows about it. But your word, your words and your dreams and your aspirations uh, can be positive all the time. Your worldly pursuits, your dreams and your aspirations are not jeopardized when you learn to tap into your healthy functioning. Some of you don't even know what your healthy functioning is, and I'm going to pray that God helps you to recognize what your healthy functioning is. Okay? To the contrary, you will begin to see the bigger picture. You'll see what truly motivates you. Some of you realize that you're not motivated because of the circumstances that you're dealing with in your life, but ladies and gentlemen, I am here to tell you, you got to be proactive. you got to learn to be motivated because that's the only way that you're going to accomplish and you're going to shine as pure gold. God wants you to shine. He wants that light to be in your life, but you have to find out what motivates you and what you really want in your life. You know, many Christians don't realize what they want in their life. Some of you know that I'm talking directly to you, that you don't you don't know what you want in life. You're going back and forth procrastinating whether or not I should do this, whether I should do that. But listen, you are called to be excellent. You are called to greatness. And many of you uh, sit back on your dreams and your aspirations. You listen to those negative voices that tell you, I can't do that. You have to replace every negative doubt with a positive one. I'm here to tell you, I'm here to motivate you and inspire you that you got to shine anyway. A few more words. Once you see where a particular train of thought is leading you, you don't like that where you're headed. You need to change that direction. You know, we can exit off the wrong highway, but we don't have to continue in the same direction. Many of us continue in the same direction because we don't have the light. We can't see the way, but God wants you to shine anyway. Okay? Anything worth doing is worth doing well. When you know that you have a gift and you have a talent, 
You need to do it well. You can't worry about what people say because people are always going to be so judgmental. You have to give it your best. Strive to be the best that you can be. A few more words. You have authentic inner power, a greater ability to say no when it's inappropriate, right? And the wisdom to know what you really want. A lot of you know what you really want, but you're sitting down on it. You're afraid to make that step. But I want you to know that you can shine anyway. If you step out of that situation, let's touch and agree on that. Father God, I thank you for this word on shining away because a lot of our people need to shine. Lord, some of them are living in darkness and they want to see the light. Father God, I ask you to help them to see the light so you can guide and direct their lives in the right course. God, help them to have a healthy function and that they will think positive eat well and sleep well and think on good things. Lord, I thank you for this word that it's motivating and, and, and inspiring to me that it's being a blessing to someone that's watching me on Facebook and YouTube. God, help them to shine this week. Help them to shine in every aspect of their lives, in their relationship with their family and friends, on their job, God. Lord, be with them, protect them and guide them in Jesus' name so that they can have a healthy, functioning all the time and we thank you for this word in jesus name we pray if you believe god with me say amen there you have it shine anyway healthy functioning right here at fm hdms noun hd1